To find the oxidation number for the manganese here in this manganese 2 hydroxide, we'll use these general rules here. The first thing to note is the whole thing, we don't have a negative or a positive sign after it. So the whole thing is a neutral compound and all of the elements, when we add up their oxidation numbers, that'll be zero. For the manganese, this is a transition element. It can have multiple oxidation states. It really depends what it's bonded to. When we look at this OH, we should be able to recognize that this is a hydroxide. This is the hydroxide ion here. And because of that, with an ion, all the oxidation numbers, they add up to the charge on the ion. So the hydroxide ion always has a one minus ionic charge. That means the whole thing here is gonna have a minus one oxidation number if we add these elements up. Since we have two of them, that means that this is gonna have to be two plus in order for all of this to add up to zero. Two times minus one is minus two, plus two, we get the zero. If we wanted to look at the oxidation numbers for the oxygen and hydrogen, the hydrogen, when it's bonded to the oxygen, which is a nonmetal, will be plus one. The oxygen, that's going to be minus two. So these are the oxidation numbers for each element here in manganese 2 hydroxide, MnOH2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.